I I feel like you have this extensive and vast body it? of reporting that takes us through the voter suppression laws, first championed and passed and signed into law in Georgia, through the antics of non-certification, refusing to certify, things being uh, maybe beta tested in Nevada. Take me through the state of play today as we're now less than 50 days ahead of uh, a general election. Well, I think unsurprisingly, we're back in the state that really first caught national attention after the 2020 election, and, and that's Georgia. Um, the state election board in Georgia, which has recently uh, seen a, a right wing 3 2 majority take over the board, it is passing new rules that are really concerning not just Democrats, but Republicans and election officials and everyone from the county level to the state level in Georgia that could possibly disrupt the post-election period. We're talking about, you know, the certification, the counting votes, the tallying of votes, and the sending off of electors to the Electoral College. So last month, they passed a rule that would allow for local election officials to take a reasonable inquiry before they certify, which has raised a lot of concerns about whether that could throw certification into question. Now, they're scheduled to meet on Friday, and they have over a dozen new rules and new proposed agenda items, we're less than 50 days out of an election. So Secretary, Raffens Secretary of State Raffensperger's lawyer sent a pretty scathing letter to the state election board saying, you really shouldn't change these rules. The board of um, every county election official known as Gavrio in Georgia, they sent a similar letter telling them to stop. So we'll see what happens on Friday with the state election board in Georgia. But when it comes to concerns about these new laws, that, that's where we see the most action, at least right now. Um.